Hello, it's Mark from Two Dog RC. Today we're going to work on putting a FS8AS Turnigy receiver into this Diatone Crusader 200. And the reason we're doing it is because a customer of mine wants to put this on an Evolution, and I haven't set one up this way, so we're going to make a video. That way everybody can learn. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the little top. So we're going to loosen these up. We don't have to take it all the way off. I would just take the front two screws off on the canopy here. By the way, you can buy all this stuff at 2dogrc.com, your internet supplier for everything quad, and great customer service. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but... All right, so here you need this cable from your kit. It says um, PPM and S-Bus signal wire. If you look here, it says uh, ground, 5 volts, PPM, and S-Bus. Now this receiver can all can do both S bus and PPM or I bus, but PPM is really slow, so we're we're not going to use this yellow wire that comes with the receiver. We'll be pulling that out. So again, we're not going to use PPM. So if you push this in to help us line this up for pins, so you've got our ground. We're going to use that one. Our positive, we're going to use that one. That's the red one. And then we're not going to use this middle one because that's PPM. And this one is S bus. So now what we're gonna to have to do is somehow connect these two. Basically, you've got a servo wire and you got these pins. So you're gonna to have to do a little bit of soldering, but this is level one soldering, so this won't be too bad. So what I'm gonna end up doing is cut these wires, cut this wire, solder them together, and then I'm just gonna stick the receiver right in there. I'll run the antenna wire out the arm, maybe out this back arm, like this. So it's gonna go there so you can see how much wire you need. You don't need much. So now let's go to cutting some wire. So basically this is gonna go about this long. So you leave a little extra. So I'm going to cut it, I'm gonna cut it there. That'll give me enough wiggle room. And then there's my other wire. Cut these off. Now I always save these extra wires because you never know when you're gonna need them. Um, same thing with this. You never know when you might need something like that. Okay, so I'm going to pull this plug out. And then I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and this yellow wire we're not going to use. So I'm just going to remove it. So to remove it, you pu pull up on this little plastic bridge right here. They lock them in place and just pull it out. And now, again, now you've got this extra wire that you can use in the future for something. So we don't need that one. So now we've got our three pins here. And then on this one, remember, we're not going to use the PPM wire, which is the middle wire. So I'm going to do the same thing here. That way I don't confuse my wires either. So just get underneath there, that little plastic. So now, this is, I mean, this is a pretty easy setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip my wires and get some shrink wrap out. I'm using this, uh, I think it's one eighth of an inch shrink wrap. It's a little tiny stuff. I'm gonna get uh, three pieces. You can see this is it's pretty simple to do. Get my soldering iron in our wires. Now, if you guys are more advanced and know how to solder, you can skip this part, but I'm trying to include everything for people that don't have a lot of experience building these things so they can you know learn some new skills so what I do is I, I dump this in my flux got my solder and tin my wires this helps them stick better there we go just be kind of shiny ah. okay same thing for this connector in my flux, tin them. If your solder iron is way too hot, what's going to happen is you're going to melt your shrink wrap or your wiring, and then it just these huge wires and it just becomes a mess. So there we go. Okay, now I'm going to take this wire. See how it's long and like I cut it long, but. What I'm going to do is I'm going to braid it so it'll give it a little, a little strength. Um, it's easy to braid 
over under over under pull twist my daughter taught me and i've got a video if you don't know how to braid on how to braid wires so it's a good thing about having a daughter they teach you how to braid your wires and this not only does it look pretty uh, that's not really why i'm doing it i'm doing it because it makes the wires stronger so if you're pulling it's not going to come out of the socket you can also just twist them if you want i prefer to just do this. See, this is going to give the wire some strength. So if you pull on the red wire just by itself, it's not going to come right out of a socket. And if you saw in here, they, these came, uh, were they braided or twisted? I think these are just twisted. I'll just twist that. So, okay, there we go. Now I'm going to take our little shrink wrap. Let me get my wire separated. Okay, there's our wires. You're going to put our shrink wrap on them. Or you solder there we go and then we'll solder our white one now usually I, I'm usually using a magnifying glass when I do this a big one with a light but it's I don't want to move it because it's providing the light for the video but that helps me just verify that I got a good solder there we go okay now we'll do our black. Always, you know, just double check your, you're going black to black, red to red, and that's what you want to do. Black to black. Okay. Let's do a red one. And you can see this is, I would say, level one soldering. Uh, if you're getting into drones, and you're going to have to know how to solder. Because you will break stuff almost every time you fly, at least a prop. But um, but you, you know it's you're gonna have to know how to solder. A lot of companies will help you set stuff up like we do, but at the end of the day, you're gonna need to know how to solder. All right, there we go. We got all three of them soldered. Put the little shrink wrap over where we soldered them. That'll help. So they won't short out, lighter, and shrink the shrink wrap. There we go. Now you could too put a big piece of shrink wrap over there so it, it uh, doesn't move and stuff like that. But there we go. So now let's check this out again. We'll open our hatch. All right, ground. There we go. Ground, five volts. The last wire is S bus. And then we plug this wire into here. And that matches ground, 5-volt, S-bus. Okay, so that's all you have to do f for that part. 